Hi, I'm John Edwards, uh, Market Director for Examiner.com in Columbus, Ohio. We are at the Varsity Club down on the Ohio State campus, and today I'm with Anne Lavelle Cosner, who is our Columbus Career Coach Examiner. Anne, how are you? I'm doing great. Um, Anne writes articles about uh, topics that are going to be important to anybody either who is looking for a new job or uh, is maybe in a job but not happy with it. Um, Anne, why don't you tell us a little bit about what you write about, a little bit about your background, and maybe even how you came across Examiner.com to begin with. Well, I've been a professional in human resources for over 25 years. Mm -hmm. I got my master's here at The Ohio State University, which I think is the best, best MBA program in the nation. However, um, I have been, my, my finger on the pulse of employment activity in Ohio, and with all the unemployment, and all the people, you know, in a certain age bracket that are been unemployed for at least two years at this point. You know, I just kept hearing about them on LinkedIn. Everybody's talking about it. And so when the opportunity for examiner.com came up, we had to write an article. And I wrote an article about why aren't there any grants out there for executive coaching for people over 50. You know, because those people, if they're making $100,000, all right, if you get them back employed, Look at the tax base and the benefit. Mm -hmm. So I wrote that article and that's how I got on examiner.com. So then, um, as I explored that further, I ended up um, listening to a lot of people talk about how just one question turned their interview. One misunderstanding, and then the generation gap, and the misperceptions of work ethic, and like for older people, the work ethic of young people, no loyalty, okay? Or on the other hand, younger people interviewing older people and thinking, well, they won't listen to me. And, and, and then they would automatically, um, they would automatically think that they were talking to their parents. And whatever their perception of is the way they added to their parents is what they would reflect. It's, you know, sometimes when people apply over the internet, they'll say, well, you know, I spent an hour and a half and I filled it all out correctly and I know that I have all the qualifications that are needed for this position and there's just no way on earth that I won't get an interview. And then like a day later, they get an automatic response, sorry, you're not qualified. Why? Okay, well, they don't know why. Well, I can help, I can help people. And to teach them why. Mm -hmm. and that's that's what we do with executive coaching with um, IC Solutions, and that's what I do with CCI Consulting, which is my organizational mm -hmm. development consulting firm. And I love working with examiner.com because it gives me an opportunity to share this. You know? yeah, that's fantastic. And one question that I had for you, just briefly what, what is the difference between a career coach and a recruiter? Mm -hmm. Oh, a night and day. I can you explain? Night and day. Um, a career coach is what I do is I help you find your passion. Because whatever you're passionate about, you'll be successful. Mm -hmm. you know, like I'm passionate about helping people find their passion, you know, <laughs> which is why I'm in human resources. But for me, you know, I can help you bring out the best in yourself and then help you set the direction mm -hmm. toward changing your future. Okay? A recruiter on the other hand can market you. Like, if I, if I I meet you and I think, and I do think you're a wonderful guy, okay, so say I have your resume, and you tell me, and I want to be a race car driver. Well, it just so happens I really am from North Carolina, and I really do know some people in NASCAR. And you know what? I can market you to NASCAR, all right, because I know people in NASCAR. So I would call into NASCAR, and I would be the right person, and I would meet with them, and I would say, you know what? I have this wonderful guy named Johnny. He knows absolutely everything there is about NASCAR. Mm -hmm. now, right now, he's working for examiner.com, but he's interested in coming to work for you. Mm -hmm. Would you give him five minutes of your time? And what he wants to learn is how he can be a value to NASCAR. Who's going to say, oh no, I'm not going to give him five minutes of my time? Mm -hmm. They're honored. Mm -hmm. They're honored. So asking for information on interviews mm -hmm. for you. You know, I would market that. And that's what I do as your Columbus career coach. <laughs> okay. Well, you so, can see why we're very excited to have Anne involved with uh, with our readers on examiner.com Columbus. Uh, resumes, um, coaching, um, uh, recruiting, it's all there. Please check out Anne's uh, articles on our site. And thank you for joining us today at the Varsity Club at The Ohio State University. Anne, thank you very much. Thank you, John.